Good afternoon, folks. We have had some folks politely ask for a video explaining the solar wind chart. It's what we're looking at here. The solar wind is the particle energy emission from the sun, opposite the light emission. While the sun's light is most important for photosynthesis and overall warmth in the daytime, the particles constantly flowing outwards from the sun in all directions are the key to how the sun controls the weather, earthquakes, technological performance, and human health. The chart shows five key parameters in the solar wind. We'll start at the bottom three panels first since they characterize the physical nature of the solar wind. The middle panel, in orange here, shows density in protons per cubic centimeter. Normally, we'd see around 1 to 10 protons, but often the solar wind is a bit more sparse. During solar storm impacts, the density can surge to 30, 50, or more protons per cubic centimeter. The next panel down in purple shows the solar wind speed in kilometers per second. Normal solar wind speed is between 300 and 450 kilometers per second, but CME shockwaves and coronal hole streams are significantly faster, up to 600, 800, even 1,000 kilometers per second or more. We have a fast coronal hole stream on this chart right here, actually. Plasma speed in excess of 600 kilometers per second for a considerable period. Bottom panel in green is plasma temperature in Kelvin. This usually tracks along with the plasma speed and can also indicate when those shock waves and coronal hole streams arrive. The two up top are where people likely get confused. Blue is the phi angle, and to start, let's zoom in here. If you look closely, you should notice that this top panel in the blue phi angle section is not as big as the three below it. That area from 300 and above is smaller, and that's because it only actually goes up to 360, not 400. That's because the phi angle is a radial measurement in 360 degrees, describing the primary magnetic field direction embedded within the solar wind. Where zero meets 360, up at the top and bottom of the panel, it's north-facing magnetic fields. When they are closer to 180 degrees, then it is southward-facing magnetism. This is important because northern fields deflect off of Earth's magnetic field, while southern-facing fields couple with it, cause much worse solar storms. Then finally up top, we have the magnetic components of the overall environment, plus whether or not they will be expected to deflect or couple with the Earth. In many ways, the top panel shows a combination of information that could be gleaned from the other four. The red line is the important one, the BZ. The northern fields are positive while the southern fields are negative there, and the magnitude is based on the density, speed, and temperature of the solar wind. Basically, the further the red line goes into negative, the more the solar wind is pounding our planet. Now, you may see other versions of solar wind data, so let's take a moment. This is from the new Discover satellite, but nearly all the solar wind data in the archive is from the ACE satellite. Sometimes that one has a black background. Many people like the look of that better. And you notice the purple solar wind speed panel is now yellow, still second from the bottom. The panel data never changes. Bottom is always temperature, top is always BZ, etc. But you may encounter different colored data panels and a different background color, by the way. This one here shows a CME shockwave impact where the yellow line jumps up as the plasma density is rising. There's a bump in the BZ magnitude as well, all at the same time. That's a CME impact. Here's another black background ACE image with a coronal hole stream. This time the density peak comes before a slow rise in plasma speed with a phi angle flip during the density peak. That's a coronal hole stream. Anyway, hopefully you understand this chart a bit better now. I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.